September 1st, 2017. My name is Stacy, and I'm in Miss Fair first grade class. I am Quinicia Banks, and I am in Miss Fair first grade class. We are on fe special day five. Please stand for a pledge of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let's now set the school pledge. Today I make the choice to have a good day. I'm trying to do the best I can be. I respect all of the fellow students and myself. I'm accountable for my words and my actions. It's my responsibility to learn something new. I enter long and hard to serve. I'm a proud community thinker. Let us now say no place for hate. Promise. I promise to do my best to treat everyone fairly. I promise to do my best to be kind to everyone. If they're not like me, if I see someone being hurt or bullied, I tell a teacher. Everyone should be able to feel safe and happy in school. I want our school to be no place for hate. Please pause for a quiet reflection. Thank you. You may be seated. The L.O. Kimberly College Readiness Word is Degree Plan. A degree plan is a specific list of required courses and electives to be completed for a degree. Your choices for lunch today are cheese and spinach lasagna, garden vegetable salad with roll, Hamburgers, seasoned fries, sautéed, green beans, garlic, flat to bread, fresh apples. And now for a few words of wisdom. Good morning, Kimberly Elementary School. This is Mrs. Saunders with a few words of wisdom. When you crave something, you want it badly. Have you ever had a craving for something that just wouldn't go away, like a craving for chocolate or a craving for pizza? We all get cravings from time to time, and that's okay. What's not okay is when we constantly crave things we don't have. When we spend too much time craving more clothes, or craving new shoes, or craving a new video game, or the latest cell phone. Now listen to these words. It is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more that is poor. To be poor means not to have enough. So in other words, if you're always wishing you had more, no matter how much you have, you will never think you have enough and you will think you are poor. Today, focus on what you have instead of what you don't have. You may be surprised to discover that you really do have enough with something to think about. This is Mrs. Saunders. Make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. I can, you can, we can bring our can good. Bring your can good today. Uh, bring your can good today. I can, you can, we can bring our can good. Bring your can good today. Uh, bring your can good today. Show your kindness and generosity by donating your can good. The clad that don't donates the most will win tickets to the Universal Soul, Soul Circus. If our school donates the most cans in APS, every student in our school will get to go to the University Soul, Soul Circus. Circus. I can, you can, we can bring our can, can good. Bring your can goods today. Uh, bring your can goods today. I can, you can, we can bring our can, can good. Bring your can goods today. Uh, Okay, kids, don't forget that we are meeting Wednesday in Miss Chatham's room from 11.15, 12.15. Please get your lunches quickly at 11 o'clock and walk quietly to Mrs. Chatham's room. Third, third grade teachers, please allow your K-Kids members to get in the front of your line, your lunch line, 
so they can join uh, join us as soon as possible. Students, are you are you reading and taking AR test? How many points do you have? I hope you have enough points to shop at our holiday AR store on Wednesday, December 16. We we will have our first holiday AR store and you can only buy items with AR points. So make sure you read and take AR tests so you can shop. Good morning, this is Mrs. Saunders in the Media Center and we have some new books. I want to tell you about two new books that we have. The first one is a mystery. Do you like mysteries? Do you like to gather the clues and try to figure out what has happened in a story? Well, here's a mystery for you. This is called Case of the Sabotaged Spaghetti. Hmm, Case of the Sabotaged Spaghetti? Well, I know I like spaghetti and I like mysteries, so I think this is a good book for me to read. This book is a 4.8 reading level book. It's worth one AR point. And this is a mystery book. So come by the Media Center and find out about the case of the sabotaged spaghetti. I wonder if somebody put too many hot peppers in it and made it burn everybody's mouth. I wonder if somebody ate it all up and there wasn't enough for anyone else. Come by the Media Center and check out the case of the sabotaged spaghetti. Another book that we have is We're Going on a Dinosaur Dig. This is kind of like the book We're Going on a Bear Hunt by Eric Carl, but this is a dinosaur dig. So if you like dinosaurs, this is a book for you. This has a lot of repetition, and so this is a great book if you are reading on a first grade level or lower. This is worth half of a point. We're going on a dinosaur dig. Come by the Media Center and check out some of our new books. I'll see you in the Media Center. Happy birthday to our Kimberly st st students who are celebrating a birthday today. Happy birthday to Nicholas, Jalika, and Jalen. Be sure to stop by the main office to get your birthday pencil for Mr. Sally. Happy birthday. Have a terrific Tuesday at L.O. Kimberly Elementary School. And remember, be respectful, be responsible, be ready, and be safe.